are face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you are able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. Ah, but I have. I'm right here before you. A very open-minded of you. Kudos for embracing the reality of the situation, rather than railing against it. Let's get to brass tack, shall we? There are some things I'd like to talk to you about. You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand, I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change, and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like these super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. In front of you is a vial of modified FEV virus. Based on schematics of the purifier controls, it can be inserted directly into the console. Then enter the code necessary to start the purifier. The automated systems will take care of the rest. That's all you need to do. It's very simple. Excellent. I am pleased to know that I can count on you. There isn't much time, I suggest. Travel there immediately. Once you've taken the vial, you're free to go. I'll do what I can to help speed your exit. And why would I do that, when I'm clearly the best hope for the people of the Wasteland? What alternative would you suggest? Without the Enclave, what will the world do? Yes, I suppose it is. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once you've left, I'll put an end to the Enclave. I cannot stop Colonel Autumn, however. That much will be up to you. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to make. You have the vial and the task set before you. Shouldn't you be on your way now? Really? Do go on. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended, but shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. Because I've been programmed to be, of course. Processing. Internal logic error detected. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps... Perhaps there is a problem. I... I am unsure how to proceed. Analyzing command. New course of action dictated. Self-destruct sequence initialized. 
Civilian is advised to secure hazardous FEV material to prevent explosive decompression. Civilian also advised to evacuate complex immediately.
I found you at last. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue to repay my debt to you. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Huh? Oh, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? What have you got on your mind? Yes, by all means, let's. <laughs>